121. How we lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence come my help? My help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall never be slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shield upon the right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. Dear Lord, I come unto you tonight, O oh God, that you provide for my family in the name of Jesus. The psalmist says that I will never forsake the righteous, nor the children beg for food. Lord, I commit myself and my husband unto your cares, O oh God. I pray that you meet us at the point of our need in the name of Jesus. You have said in your word that your children will not beg for food. Your children I will not beg for bread. Enough is enough, oh God. Lord Jesus, come for our rescue. In the name of Jesus, I stand on the study rock, oh God, and I call upon your name, that you are God of provision. You are God that makes everything work, oh God. Lord Jesus, enough is enough, oh God, in this family. Enough is enough for suffering. In the name of Jesus, provide for me, oh God, and my husband. In the name of of Jesus, pray for my household in the name of Jesus that you provide for us in the name of Jesus that we will not beg anymore in the name of Jesus that you preserve us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, tonight is our night, oh God. We pray for breakthrough. What says I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where it's come my help, Father. Our help come from you, oh Lord. Please. Father, meet us at the point of our need, Lord Jesus. Meet us at the point of our need. In the name of Jesus. husband has been laid off from work for the past three years. Things has not been so easy for us. <laughs> we have been relying on my little business, which is not even enough to feed us, not to talk of other needs. <laughs> the children's school fees are dear. By next week, school will be resuming. Oh, Lord. We need your help. Let my husband come back with good news this time around. Ah, as usual, the same story again. Well, he said uh, maybe they will call me if my service is needed. But, but I am tired of hearing that word everywhere. They will call me when they just and you will never hear anything again. Ah. My dear, the Bible says God makes everything beautiful in his own time. Don't worry, God will surely answer our prayers. Let me get to water so that you can freshen up. And and I've decided not to go to shop today so that I can concentrate on prayer. As we have planned to fast and pray today. Okay. Thank you. At least I am appreciating you. Thank you for your efforts in your ramification. You're welcome. And thank you for the prayers. 
I just pray that God will answer us in good time. Amen. This uh, way. This way. Uh, thing will surely surprise us. What's that? Yes. Hello. Uh, yes, sir. Um, yeah, um, yes, Jolo Lua Gabriel. Okay, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. ah. Yes, sir. First thing on Monday morning, sir. I, I will be there, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, Jesus. Ah. Me. Ah, glory be to your name, oh, Father. Thank you, Lord. That? Thank you, Lord. Ah, can you imagine? That is the complete secretary. Eh? Just call me now. Eh? Saying that the chairman of first choice said I should come and resume on Monday. Ah. You mean the company you just arrived from? Exactly. And they told you they would call for you whenever they need your service. Oh. Ah, and I, I should Jesus. resume at the Ashas Avenue eh? as the senior manager. I resume. Ah, oh, do I show? Lord, I thank you. Dear Lord, I pray unto you. I pray that you keep my husband. Keep me and my family. Lord Jesus, protect us from any evil attack, oh God. Any evil attack, wherever they are coming from, I pray. Pray and I arrest them in the name of Jesus. You are the Lord, Lord the Almighty. There is nothing you cannot do. Lord Jesus, my family will not scatter in the name of Jesus. My family will not scatter. You will uphold us in the name of Jesus. Your word said in the book of Psalm 91 that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I put myself and my family under your shadow in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cover us. The blood of Jesus. We are covered with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cover us right from now in the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will keep us. Whenever we go out, I never will return back home. In the name of Jesus. My dear, I'm so tired. In fact, thank you for the outing today. God bless you in Jesus' name. In fact, we have had enough today and my baby come 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 my dad come just go into the room and freshen up and make sure you come back for prayers okay nobody is eating tonight in this house again mm? my husband thank you very much god bless you and god damn you. i really appreciate everything you have been doing for us in this house Suffer with me, I'm telling you, it is time that you enjoy with me. You should be thanking God in everything. Amen. And God will continue to bless Amen. you. Amen. Thank you very much. God let me go quickly and freshen up and let's come back for prayers. already 6.15. Well, today I've been so ethic attending to customers. I've even forgotten the time for Bible study has passed. Anyway, then I've promised not to allow this to happen again. God understand. God understand, Jerry. Hello, Mrs. Ebeniza. Hello, Mom Michelle. How are you? I'm fine, no. How are you and the children? 
<laughs> well, we thank God we are good. God has been good to us. Uh, well, inshallah, I observed, you know, lately that you have not been attending the uh, Noble Sisters online prayer meeting. Uh, and I remember you are the one that introduced me to the platform. I hope all is well. Well, my dear sister, I'm sorry for not have uh, been joining the online prayer meeting. And it's not that I actually forgot, but I've been busy these days. Okay. It's all right. All is well. I called you just to share with you a dream, a scary dream I had about you and your husband. Scary dream? What about the dream? No, I saw you and your husband. Your husband was driving and you were sleeping in front of the car there. And a lady waved your husband down to ask for a lift. Uh, by the time your husband parked to pick her up, expecting her to go to the back seat, you know, she just came to the front and opened the door while you were still sleeping and started dragging you out. And your husband was not even saying anything. What kind of a dream is that? God forbid in Jesus' name. How can a woman drag me out of my husband's car? I reject it in Jesus' name. I just called you to inform you to be more watchful and be more prayerful. You know, we should not be unaware of the devil's devices. Anyway, thank you for the information. Okay, okay. all is well. What is that? Well, how will Mrs. Ebenezer not have such a dream about someone? What kind of nonsense is that? Ajegbodokon when you kun alason lason. Ah ah. Rubbish. Ah ah. Miss Tolani, how are you? How was your weekend? Of course, as you can see. Should know I'll be fine as usual. I trust you. And you? Wow. <laughs> hmm. He was super excited, to say the least. <laughs> he was groovy. Chief and I, we went clubbing with his friends as usual. Oh, Chief really spoiled me. In fact, I can't wait for another weekend to come. In fact, he was so sweet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know people like Chief. They have money to spend. And ladies like us. We know how to spend the money. See, I can't wait. I will enjoy myself. I'll continue to enjoy myself. And I will enjoy myself forever. And what about you? Are you still interested in the GM? You know it's not an easy nut to crack. Why is that? This man is so fond of his wife. See, Miss Johnson, there is nothing I've not done to get his attention, or to no avail. And moreover, Miss Johnson is a Christian. Hmm. Born again, to be precise. I don't know. Hmm. Born again? Did you just say born again? Jeez, born born again. again, my foot. Yeah. Not with people like us. Hmm. Hmm. Especially me. Hey, my mouth. Unless I'm not interested. It's just in the Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. There's always a way to trap people like them. Every man, read my lips, every man has a price. Talking about us is not for this one. People like us, we know how to control that. It's just in. You, 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 you. Trust yeah. you. Yeah, thank Please you. Do. How do you mean? Miss Johnson. What? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, what happened? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It has not come to that now. I mean, I, I don't think I can go to that extent. I can't. I yeah. can't do it. You can't do it. I can't. Okay. See, let me tell you something. Whoever mm. that wants to eat the honey embedded in the mountain hmm. will not be frightened about the hacks. <laughs> 
Do you think that Chief is just at my back and call just like that? You are right, Miss Josie. No, um, yeah, I don't think I can go to that extent. <laughs> See, I don't even need to talk to you again. Just leave the rest to me. We'll talk later. All right. Thank you. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Your husband and the children? We are all fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Glory be to God in the highest. Um, I've been trying to reach your husband for some days now. But this line keeps saying, busy. And I wonder why. I'm sorry for that, sir. Actually, he's been busy these days. But then I will tell him that you have tried his number. Well, um, I actually called just to check on the family and um, to tell you what the Spirit of God dropped in my heart for the family. Okay, sir. But for some time now, Sister Jola Oluwa, you people have not been regular in Sunday service. What is happening? Hmm. 
And every time I call your husband, there is the same excuse that you are very busy. Hmm. Anyway, the Lord dropped in my heart that you should read Matthew chapter 13, verse 25 to 40. I can't place my hand on the particular area that you people have been sleeping. But the Lord is saying that you need to watch it, meditate on that scripture, and do the needful. Hmm. <sighs> Sister Jola Olua. Hmm. First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant, for your adversary, the devil, like a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Hmm. The enemy will not catch you unawares. You not catch your own unawares in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. I will inform that you shall lie about it. Okay. But the Lord says, you people are standing on slippery ground. So, please, be sober and be vigilant. The Lord bless you. Amen. Thank you very much, sir. We will adjust. I will inform Daddy Shola about it. Okay. My regards to your husband and your children. Bye. Baby show. Okay. Yeah. Five thousand pieces of children of baby show. Five thousand pieces. Then two hundred pieces of men's clothes. And that's about 1.5 million. <laughs> things are not cost to other things. Oh, the measures. Tired and everything now. How much is the total? I have the total of seventy million six hundred and eight thousand. Aha. Correct. Seriously, this fast so I need to use the bed now. I'm tired. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us and my family in Jesus' name. Amen. Ah, I'm tired. I need to sleep now. Wow. Danny, 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 I'm already late. 
It's already the same. Ah. It's the same. I'm already late. I'm going to go to work now. Ah, good morning, dear. Good morning. Ah, I'm sorry I came late to, to bed last night. Let me quickly prepare you something before no, no, no. you leave. Sorry, I can't wait. I will, I will tell the secretary to get food for me from the cafeteria. Because we have a board meeting this morning about the coming uh, award night. Okay. And I have to be there before 7 o'clock. All right. Then, okay. Please, I cannot wait. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Johnson. Good morning. Oh, how was your weekend? It was fine, thank you, sir. Oh, thank God for the success of uh, Saturday Award Night. Thank you, sir. In fact, you, you did a very good job. You and your team, you did a good and wonderful work during, you know, in the service of uh, food and drink. As a matter of fact, uh, the report I received says everybody had to satisfaction. Oh, thank you, sir. And even the group managing director sent a uh, you know, commendation. Wow. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, you, sir. thank you so Just much, sir. Just keep it up. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Thank God, sir. And that is why I'm here, sir. I've come to submit the report of my committee, sir, on events. Oh, wow. That's fast. That's fast. Yes, sir. And that is commendable. Yes, sir. Oh, thank please you. have your seat. Have your seat. Let me quickly go through it. And uh, correct so that you can make uh, copies for the board meeting. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's good of you. But by the way. Yes, sir. Uh, Sorry, I hope you will not uh, feel offended. Uh -huh. I observed that you look so gorgeous on Saturday during that award night. I like the gown that you wore. It was very, very nice of you. Wow. Thank you, sir. If <laughs> uh, you don't mind, I would like to have uh, that kind of gown for my wife. Of course, sir. I can take you to the after office hours. Oh, that would be lovely. Nice one. I got it from a friend's boutique, very close to my area, not oh. too far. Oh, that would be good. But I hope it will not inconvenience you taking oh, me no. there. No, no, not at all, sir. It's my pleasure, sir. Oh, that's good, that's good. Thank so, you. after the closing, please, I will expect you here. All right, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. accepting my plea to follow me home after getting dressed for your wife. And I'm very sure that madam will like it. Thank you so much. So I, I should thank you too. And uh, more importantly, you have a very nice place. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> and uh, really, I saw that, uh, you know, just like you said, your place is not far from the boutique. Sure. So, so thank you so much. I should be on my way now. Oh, Oga, okay. uh, no. Do you want me to miss my blessing? Blessing? What do you mean by blessing? Mm, just like the way Abraham offered the angels food and water, and he received an unexpected blessing. Sir, let me just offer you water at least, at least for a man of God, so that I will not miss my blessing either. <laughs> so interesting, Miss Johnson. Uh, so you two can uh, preach from the scripture? Of course, sir. <laughs> to, uh, oh, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, taking water, there is no harm in that. Really? Yeah. No wow. Problem. Uh, just be quick with it because I don't want to be late. Sir. Okay, okay so. sir. Please, sir, I'll be back, sir. Okay. Thank you very much.
you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> but how long have you been here? Oh, it's over a year ago, sir. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. Hey. Thank you, sir. But are your parents also in this town? No, ah, no not at all, sir. Jola Oluwa Gabriel, you are now under my control. You will only do my biddings. I turn your heart against your wife, your children, and your family. <laughs> there shall always be misunderstanding between you and your wife from now henceforth. I decree and I declare and it is established. To prayer, complacency in not the next, all right? Don't go pray to the answers of the good time. Finish like a credit card that you enjoy now and pay later on. I thought I would meet him at home. That's why I didn't call him before leaving shop. It's the matter. I hope all is well. He's not picking his call. Okay. It's okay. Problem. You are just coming in. At this hour of the night? Why are you just coming in? Baby, I was just about to ask that. What, what keep you so long today? You are about to ask me? What are you talking about? A married woman coming in at 9 30 p.m.? What are you doing? Where are you? Where have you been? Hey, my dear, I've been wondering as well. What took you so long? He's not like you. Are you talking to me? So what, what have you been doing outside this time? What, what have you been doing outside? Oh, sweetheart, you know I've been busy in shop these days. Busy? Busy my foot. Nonsense. Busy. Are you, the, are you the first person to have a driving business? A married woman staying outside till 9.30 p.m.? I don't, I don't understand. What, what, what nonsense is that? My dear. You, you haven't told me what took you so long today. Uh -uh. What a question. Are you asking me that nonsense question? Anyway, this is the my for you. Uh -huh. You must tell me what happened today. I don't even understand. Enemies roaming about looking for a wolf to devour. All right. No matter condition, don't relate to serve the Lord. Don't go to the of the Big Don't go to the of the Don't go to the of the I don't know where Daddy Shola has gone again. <laughs> Something is definitely fishy. <laughs> and I need to find out before I take my step. <laughs> I need to keep this away from our children. Look at the time. No single call from him. And he doesn't even return his call when I called. <laughs> hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something is getting out of hand. Ah. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I'm greeting you. Daddy, I'm greeting you. Welcome. This look at the time. So at this hour of the night, you are still look. I have a very hectic day. 
and I don't have time for this kind of uh, nonsense talk. Okay. Aki. Aki. Remember your vows and promises for me and my children. This is not how we started, Aki. You not do what you like. You come back home anytime you like, Aki. Even to give us money for housekeep is not difficult for you, Aki. <laughs> Aki, you need to tell me what is going on here. Time in office and you see, you pay. Hmm. okay. <laughs> so, so you can now see how you started. Eh, that's gone there, but you pay. Ah, okay, I see. You, you, you are you are telling everybody now. Eh, you are now telling people how you how you fed me. Eh, you are the one that gave me money, you are the one that did this. You, you fed your husband. Oh. Remember to tell them, go and tell the whole world, eh? how, your, how your daughter is in private uh, secondary school, and I'm paying through my nose, you know, paying, you know, so much. And uh, remember to tell them, go and tell the whole world, how your show became so big. Nonsense. I don't care. All I know is that you are owing me an explanation for all of this, Akin. You are owing me an explanation how you go out in the morning and come back later at night. Nonsense. Aki. In fact, okay. Aki, what are you trying to say? You need to explain to me what is going on. I eh? don't have time for you. <laughs> see, uh, if care is not taken, you won't see me here again. <laughs> In fact, you are very lucky that I came back. Eh. You and if you not allow me to, to, to rest, eh? Eh. if you not give me peace here, I will go to the visitor's room and sleep. Eh. And if care is not taken, you will not see me in this house. You go to the room. You will not do. <laughs> Aki, don't even After try that. that. You will leave me all alone in this room. Aki, Aki, don't try that. Aki, 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 you leave me in this room. Okay, no problem. This is not funny. This is not funny. What did I have to do now? What will I do now? That's funny. was a young lady that called me two days ago that actually made me to know that there is fire on the mountain <laughs> Don't fire. mommy this young lady revealed to me that my husband has been having an illicit affair with a lady called I, I can't remember Miss Johnson in the office ah! so something terrible like this is happening to you it's so terrible and you are sleeping. <laughs> Mommy, I'm not sleeping. Oh. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> it was because of this situation that made me to call you that I needed to come and see you in the village, Mommy. <laughs> but, Mommy, as I speak, my husband does not support us financially anymore. And that is affecting the monthly stipend I send to you. As I speak, the whole financial body of the family is now me, mommy. I'm tired. But we now. <laughs> Look here, my daughter. See, I will not sit down and allow anybody to put sand inside my garden. This, this lady in question that we are talking about, she is not ordinary. Never! I will take you to the balani. Mami, Babalani, eh, Mami, that I know. Of course. The Abadis. Eh. Mami, that cannot be possible. I cannot follow you. Mami, I'm a Christian. Uh. I can't follow you to one Abadis. Uh. I just came to let you know the situation on ground. The situation with me. Mami, I am a Christian. I only came to let you know as it's affecting the financial support to you, Mami. <laughs> Look here, my daughter. Abadis. Look here. I'm talking to you. Look at my face. Ma if your prayer alone can work, the situation would not have degenerated to this stage. 
you, 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 do you understand what I'm trying to tell you, my daughter? This, this lady that we are talking about, eh, if she's going diabolical, she's using diabolical powers, we too must do, use diabolical power. We must use diabolical power. Ah, mommy. I'm telling you the truth. Hey. So you better obey me and listen very well and follow me. So, Baba, that is the situation on Grando. In fact, she doesn't want to follow me. She refused. But as a good mother, I have to beg her, compel her to follow me. Abi, Olo Jo Shani Lao Joele, Kita Lubokosi. And is that everything that brought you here? That is it, Baba. That is no problem. It is a simple case. The girls will handle that. Give me a minute. Okay, uh, what did you say is the name of the lady? I mean the lady that will not allow you to enjoy your husband. Papa is talking ah. to you. Ah, an elderly man is talking to you and you are ignoring him. I'm mastering him now. I like Moko. Motsunde Johnson. Oh, Lani, I am the one afflicting them. Leave them to me. Let me deal with them. You cannot do anything about their case. Yeah, yeah. They are come for seek refuge in me. What can I do without you? Yeah, yeah. You must help. Arise and help. Help. This one is a settled case. The man is already in our trap. The prince of this world has interest in him. He wants his soul. And nobody can change that. Or you can do it at the expense of your soul. Yeah, yeah, rara. I for more bore. Ah. Okay, what do you want me to do? Just give them any powder. Tell the wife to mix it with his food. Hmm. Exactly. That is what I will ask them to do. Then what will now happen? We will make the man to appear changing. And this one will be just for one or two weeks. And this one will make them to come back and thank you, and ensure you collect huge amount of money from the woman. After, we will compound the issue, and the man will start sleeping outside, and then we will strike him dead. He cannot escape our trap. Thank you, Yeye. Exactly what you have said. That is what I will do. Thank you, Yeye. Thank you. Ibanyure, what would I have done without you? What could I have done? Thank you, Yeye. Oshubanyure. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. What is mommy now? A show. Ah. Mm. Mm. Baba, welcome. Ah. Mm. Welcome, Baba. I've consulted the gods. Ah, thank you, Baba. And they have given us solution. Eh? In fact, it does not require any sacrifice. Eh? Eh? Oh. See this powder. Eh, Baba. 
That is what it requires. I will direct you on how to use it. And that is all. You will come back and thank me. Is that all, Baba? A meal. Ah, I will. Can we be with your Benny? Thank you, Baba. We shall surely come back. You are wasting time on your GM. It is time for you to submit his soul to the master. I'm trying, Ye Ye. As you can see for some months now, that the wife no longer pray for the home. And she has been busy with her business records, even at night. Hmm. And to worsen it, the family is in complete disharmony. You can see that I have really drained him. Shut up your mouth. You have drained him enough. And that is not the main purpose. Our vision is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It is time for his final destruction. Now that his defense has totally collapsed. When sin enters into man's life, he is reduced to crumbs. It is time to release the final venom into his system. And you know what to do? Just lure him into your house and ensure you have sex with him within seven days and then release him to go back to his wife and die of kidney disease. Okay, Ye Ye, it shall be done. Don't fall prey to the answers of the good I had to drive down here. Immediately we finished the fellowship. Because I really couldn't understand what you are seeing on the phone. What is happening? You see, Pastor, I have gone through a lot. My husband does not come home anymore. He goes to work from his girlfriend's house. I have even gone astray in a bid to have him back. Things changed for a while. After that, the whole situation got worse. And you kept all of this to yourself. Sister Jela Onua. I couldn't raise the courage to come and see you. Since we have been so irregular in church. But when I discovered there seems to be no way out, <laughs> then I, I, I decided. <laughs> From what you have told me, and what the Holy Spirit is telling me, hmm, your husband is in grave danger. Hmm, and we need to start interceding for him right away. Hmm, or else, something terrible might happen to him very soon. But why? Why is Daddy Shola doing this to me? After 10 years of our marriage, and knowing fully well how I suffered for him when there was nothing. I don't know why he's doing this to me. In fact, I was about to go and beat that lady up before your call came in. <laughs> Sister Jola Oluwa, this is a spiritual matter. You cannot fight a spiritual battle with a physical weapon. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The scripture I sent to you earlier, Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. 
says, while men slept, the enemy came to sow tears into the wheat, and he went out his way. And that's a problem with most of you women, I mean wives. When your husband has nothing, you fast, you pray, you go from one mountain to the other. For God to lift him up, for God to provide for the home. But immediately God answers your prayers. You forget to still keep your watch for your home, particularly your husband. And you've forgotten that there are ladies out there that are looking for men that are already made. And they will stop at nothing to get them, to have them. <laughs> it's not only uneasy lies the head that wears a crown, Sister Jola Oluwa. It is also uneasy lies the head that supports he that wears the crown. Oh, my God. Daddy, don't tell me it's not that it's so Daddy shall have fought. Why can't you remember all these things that we have suffered for all these years? <laughs> Pastor, do you know that my husband have not slept in this house for the past two weeks? <laughs> Mommy Shola, I insist, this is not the time for blame game. What we need now is prayer before the enemy strikes the final blow. I, I suggest, and it's not even a suggestion, I want to instruct. We start a seven day fasting and prayer right away. And um, we will be here on the seventh day to join you. And the Lord will answer our prayers. He's well with you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs>
of your prompt response to my call. I don't know where I will be by now. Ah, Pastor, I am very, very grateful to you. Ah, well, we thank God for how it turned out, how it all ended. Brother hmm. Jolalu, <laughs> if not that that lady confessed, will I have been behind pass? <laughs> ah, um. We thank God for how it all turned out in the end. You see, whatever position that one feels is more important than God or is higher than God is that same position that will bring one down. I believe both of you have learned your lessons. That you don't leave God out of your life because you feel you have arrived. There is no position that should be too big or too small.
for you to serve God in. The Bible says the devil, like a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Thank you enough for that your fatherly role. Ah, even for the prayers, even not for your prayer, your prayers and uh, you and the brethren for me, I know by now I will be a dead man. Ah, during those period, do you know, Pastor, that this day empty my account mm-hmm. eh? <laughs> and let me with nothing? Pastor, just let me beg my wife. I know I've offended her. I've offended that's why I've disappointed that. In fact, I don't know how I'm going to even face people in the in the office. What am I going to say to my shaman? Mm. Who believe I'm a born again Christian? And the man has zero tolerance for things like this. Mm. Huh? Ah! Pastor, I realize sin is like a credit card. If you enjoy it today, I'm telling you, you will pay tomorrow. Mm. Well, I don't have a choice. I am ready. To face the consequences of my or you know of my mistake. Well, it is where. Well. It is where. Well. Uh, I'm, I'm sure God will take control. God will take control. You see, uh, mommy, Shola, you too, you have some blame in this. Like I told you earlier, you fell prey to the hazards of the good times. You know, when God bless a child of God. The next thing is not complacency. Um, when you are too busy, when you are too busy for God, you give the enemy opportunity to come in and die with you. Mm-hmm. I believe you have learned your message. Shall we pray? Father, we want to thank you for your son and daughter that you came through for them. I want to thank you that it ended in praise at certain times. Don't forget to be last in Paru or Red. Don't forget to be last in Paru or Red.